Welcome back guys. My name is Edox82 and today we're gonna to play some more Blood and Gold Caribbean. So as I explained previously in my last video, we're gonna have some music from no copyright sounds playing in the background because the music of Blood and Gold Caribbean actually got me hit with a copyright claim and that claimed one of my videos. So I can't actually have that episode up to you publicly, guys, until I resolve that dispute. But I'll, uh, I'm working through that the best I can. So while I play this for now, we'll be using this alternate music track. Hope you guys enjoy. This current track of music that I'm playing is, um, it's actually something from one of my fellow YouTubers, Padatori Kim. He uses it as his uh, outro music. It's called Hellcat. I actually really like this. I think it's pretty cool. Um, okay, the music's still down. You guys should uh, definitely go check out his channel. It's a horror game channel. It's it's pretty awesome, actually. Um, yeah, he's what is it? Um, in his channel's a horror game channel. I personally enjoy it very much. He's got great humor when he plays. The commentary is awesome, and <laughs> he gets thoroughly scared, which is always a bonus. <laughs> All right, let's move into Spanish lands and see what we can do to them. Oh, hello. This guy will come after my ass for sure. And we are definitely not equipped to take him on. That Manila Galleon is actually better than everything I have. I need navigation skill actually if I'm going to get the hell away from him. Yeah, that guy's pretty big too. Well, this is just a patrol. Let's take them on. Come here. Dun, 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 dun. Let's try and clear his deck of crew and take him out. Go and sell his ass. That'd be good stuff, eh? <laughs> so our sails are nearly 100%, but our hull is going to take a little bit longer. Ooh, he's turning. Let's go back to normal speed. Fire! Oh, we can hit his other friend. Let's turn with the wind. Fire! Oops, looks like we uh, had an ad jump in. That was not meant to be there. Hopefully I don't get my ass copyright claim for that one too. Uh, 
Alright, let's go after this guy. Yeah, he's out of crew, we're good. The Lion Punk. There's no escape for you now. Alright, from the stern. Oh, we got 111 to attack two of theirs. Damn! These guys have no chance. Let's jump across. Oh, it looks like they fled up onto my ship. Which is kind of dumb, considering there's so many guys up there. Let's climb back up. And they took care of them already. Nice. We lost literally no one. Awesome silk, cloth, and we got some grain. Let's add that to our vessels. Let's tell our newly acquired brig to just hang tan. Let's come after this brigantine. Him. You don't stand a chance, buddy. You might be a bit quicker than me, but I'm gonna catch you. Actually. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Let's take him from the bow. 85 versus 6. They really don't stand a chance. Alright, we're down under the deck. Oh, here they are. They actually came onto my ship again. Idiots. Oh, I nearly hit him. And my man took care of him. We didn't lose anyone again. Take those weapons, that silk, the fish. And that's all you got. Let's add that to the fleet. Awesome. So let's try and get back to pirate lands. Oh, this guy's. Oh, he's gunning for us. There's no way we're getting away. Nah, he's got us if he wants us. Uh, come on. Come on. Alright, so that picked us up almost $2.5,000. And let's sell the brig and brigantine. Buy some ammo. My crew is at. Oh, there's no more crew to hire in this town. Interesting. Alright, so we got nearly $18,000. Which is good. Anything to sell? No, we're good. Rich flintlock pistol. Um. Change our bag of bullets to heavy bullets. 
Man, that would be amazing to have thick full plate armor. We would be incredibly tough to bring down. <sighs> right. That gear is about as good as it's going to get for us at the moment. We can't get any of those horses. Let's take a look in the tavern, see if there's a slaver in here. There is. Brilliant. A slave trader dude. Looks like Jose de Alba has been leveled up, which is great news for us. It means he'll become stronger. Let's put to sea. And take a look at his skills. To make him quicker, always level up a bunch. To make him very powerful. Navigation would go very well. Uh, he's a one-handed swordsman, that much I definitely know. What traits can you pick up? You have three free points. Okay. Ooh, infantry captain. 10% damage and weapon speed for all melee infantry units in party. That would actually be awesome. Fencer. Let's get this infantry captain. Let's jump back into Andros Island real quick because we don't want to die to this guy and his ships, like for real. Let's check the garrison out. We've got a full crew, so we can't actually buy anyone, and they don't have anyone anyways. Um, let's go ashore, because I believe that we can take them on land. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight us on land. <laughs> Get lost. to see. That was a convoy. Spanish convoy. No way for you to run, punk. Engage. Awesome. Yeah, hull strength is going up again and again. Our rigging is fully operational. Like, it's perfect condition right now. So those traits that we picked up for carpentry and sail... Um, the rigging workshop is awesome to have. Literally cost me just the amount it cost me, like I think almost fifteen thousand dollars to get it, and then I don't have to repair my ships ever again. So it's a one-time payment, basically. It's it's that awesome. Turn with the wind. 
or against it as it seems to be going. Ready a broadside? Fire! Awesome! We just swept the deck of his medium galleon and of the San Bartolome and destroyed many. Fire! Fire! Man, his crew counter is going down big time. A few more broadsides should empty his deck. Fire! I need to get to a different island actually and restock my crew. That's the one thing that I badly need to do. Fire! So I am starting to get a little low. 210 out of 280. It's not a great place to be in, especially when trying to capture ships. Fire! Okay, he's down to 49 crew. Let's head in and take him down. Fire! He's down to 41. Fire. He's down to 37. We should be able to take this guy relatively easily. And this will be a big win for us because we'll have picked up a medium galley, which is actually a pretty decent ship. Oh, they wounded one of my Buccaneer veteran readers. Oh, they're wounding everyone. No, Jose de Alba's wounded. Damn. That always seems to be the way is, um, they wound your companions, like, every time. It's so annoying. We definitely have the numbers advantage here. The gangway is going to be too crowded. Let's jump the ship. Yeah, we got him. He's going down, Pong. There's only one guy left. Where is he? Oh, he's up in the... Yeah, he's dead. I was going to say he's up in the crow's nest. We got a few casualties. That's sometimes unavoidable. Ooh, they had some seriously good stuff. Rum, sugar, tobacco. Awesome. Add the captured vessel to your fleet. You can chill for one second, dude. I've leveled up to level 10. Nice. Okay, so the small bark has a rather small crew in comparison. Dude, way anchor, I told you already. To his uh, medium galleon friend. So he's basically already done ski. I'm going to just sail over there, volley him when I can, not that I particularly need to, but then board him and cut down the crew and take control of the ship. I'm going to catch you. Here I come. <laughs> Prepare to be boarded. Full to attack from the stern. And they only have nine guys to def defend my 51 troops who are coming over. They got no chance. Let's hop ship. Come here. Alright, that's it. I'm going up to get you then. Hmm. It appears I missed. Well, we win. And we lost one sailor. <sighs> More. Yes. I find it strange that these ships don't have any food on them. Jose de Alba's level up too. Lovely. All 
All right, dude. Let's give you some more um, agility. And you can help us with navigating. And then your sword skills will go up even more. Now my own character. What do I want to do? Hmm. Let's get some more intelligence. myself even more powerful of a warrior. I'm great my artillery ability. Well, let's head to Tortuga. Congratulations, Henry Morgan. You've been, been granted the Admiralty. Let's sell all the spoils of war. Oh, lovely. Amazing. What a haul. I love raiding convoys. They pull in so much money. Alright. Let's sell those ships that we just captured and pull in even more profit. Awesome. All right, let's buy the ammo. Fix up the crew. Nice, nice. And our hull and sails are doing good. Let's see what we can do with our cannons. All right. Can we upgrade these? No. Okay, let's take a look at these things. Uh, special upgrades, yeah. So I can get seven ship upgrades. Um, hull cleaning tools. That'll give me 5% max speed, 5 plus maneuverability, but minus 5% cargo hold. Hmm. Cargo hold is kind of important. Kind of need that more than anything. 10 plus to max speed. Ship bottom copper plating, that would be reasonably good. Steering wheel, 10 plus in maneuverability. Reinforced frames, plus 10 to 10% 10 to hull HP, minus 10% maneuverability speed. Ooh, makes us harder to kill but slower, so essentially easy to kill. Powder box is 5 plus percent to reloading speed. That would actually be incredible. Let's add that upgrade. The magazine. Minus 15% damage to hull, minus 10% cargo. Yeah, I don't think so. Heated surf shot. Uh, heated shot furnace. 10% damage, 30% chance to set target off at minus. Mm. No, I need that cargo hull. Deck webbing, 3% maneuverability, 10% crew damage. Uh, Infirmary. No lifeboats. No hammocks. Yeah, I don't think so. Galley oven. Mm. Sideboard iron plating. Wow, that would make me incredibly slow. Fortified decks. Maximum caliber allowed for the ship has increased one class. Ooh. Maybe that's worth it. 
Silk Ropes, plus 30 rigging HP, plus 5 maneuverability. That's actually really good. Patches. So I can repair the hull in combat faster. Auxiliary sacks. Expanded cargo hold. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave the upgrading for now. We don't actually have really the money for it. So we lost a few crew. Starving the enemy. What is this? The brother wants its members and allies to sink their teeth into the soft, tender flesh of our enemies. Merchant Marines, sending five of their cargo vessels down to sleep with the fishes, is worth the prize of 10,000 piastres. The renowned value for this mission is 30. This recent was posted recent. This notice is posted recent. Oh, hell yeah, I'm taking that on. Done. Let's check out the tavern. There's a slave in here. Do I have anyone to sell? No, I don't. Okay. Um, let's hit up the garrison real quick. Let's restock our men. Get these Buccaneer Reavers. Done. And let's jump back into the tavern and check out the suspicious man. See if he's got a sick job for us. I'm looking for a job. A job, you say? Tell me, are you good at shooting? I mean, man-sized targets? I could hit a squirrel in the eye. Or not. Hard to tell them from the mess it leaves. <laughs> There is an affluent individual in this town I want terminated. He always travels around with a crew of bodyguards, and I can't have a luck. I'm sure he was starting an all-out war in the middle of the street. That was sick. So this gets to be a sniper's job. I've rented a room with a view, and there's a musket there. All you need to do when your mark passes by is not to miss his head. Are you in? I'll pay you 2,500 piastres when the job is done. We'll do that. You cautiously slip into the room rented by your employer and find an arquebus hidden underneath the bed. Your mark is about to pass the street below any moment now. You'll probably only have one opportunity to fire. Ooh, this could be interesting. Alright. So we got the arquebus. Ready. We have 12 shots. Let's open that window. Oh, what a view. Pretty. Where is our target? I think he comes from over here. Yeah, he does. Go in! Your mark collapses from his horse. It was a headshot. Nice. <laughs> Blood spurting from a terrible wound. The deed is done. Beautiful. What a shot. Let's go talk to my employer about that job. <laughs> Good shooting, man. I heard his head popped like a watermelon. Locals had to wipe his brains off their houses for hours. <laughs> Here's your coin. 2,500 piastres, as we agreed. Anything else? I guess I should leave now. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's check out the market. <sighs> Excuse me. Let's see if we can find... um. A decent weapon. Hmm. It's 
there a carbine in here somewhere? <laughs> Masterwork wheel lock archivist. We'll take that. I'll trade in my cutlass for a tempered rich infantry broadsword. Alright. See if there's any horses I can ride. No. If I wanted a decent horse, not a pack horse, I would need to go up in riding skill. Alright, let's put to sea. What's going on over here? Smugglers versus the Netherlands. Okay. Save real quick so that we don't lose any progress. And... Where should we go? I want to fight some native tribesmen. Over here seems to be a good place to do that usually. Let's do that. That convoy is like, is fine, I'm not coming after you. Nice. The dogs is healing up. Excellent. The Netherlands doesn't want to beat us up. Good. Let's head over to Shirkley Lagoon. That's another convoy. Free booties. <laughs> Ooh, that's a Spanish lord. We don't want to play with him. Awesome, some of our men have upgraded. Or oh, one guy. Alright, Quartermaster, we need to manage our cargo, let's get some bread on board. And let's take the landing party ashore. Let's look for some natives to beat up on. Oh hello, tribal army, let's do this. This might be a bad idea, but we're going to try it anyways. <laughs> Alright, 83 versus 84. Charge everyone. Go get them. Start the battle. Awesome. Now I can use this Archivist while riding. And this horse feels really slow. <laughs> Oh, over here, I see you. Yeah, I sort of got close.
and I hit one, nice. Let's pull out the new sword, see what we can do. Miss as usual. Oh, we actually hit someone. Man, our men are tearing through these local native tribes. Got him, trouble bowman down. And another one. These natives don't stand a chance against us. Victory! So we lost eight guys in that scrap. That's okay. Wow. We've picked up seven prisoners. Ceremonial armor, trouble mask, trouble shields, stone axes, blades, and sandals alike. Awesome. Let's make that a French renegade. Buccaneer Reavers. English renegades. And English veteran renegades. Can we go to the Karma Plantation? That's what I want to know. Yes, we can. Oh, hell yeah. This is awesome because um, what we can do here is we can sell our prisoners to the plantation owner. And they are worth 800 piastres each. So having seven guys on me like this right now is, is making bank. Hello, Mr. Administrator. I'm here for business. I want to sell all the prisoners I have with me. See? 5,600 piastres for because seven prisoners. Do as we deal. Sold. Awesome. Hang on, how do we have one more thing that we can actually hold with the corn beef somehow? <laughs> anyway, let's uh, cancel and let's leave. Awesome. So we got 78 guys out of 86. Let's uh, make our way back to our ship. Oh, what are you doing going to Bluefield, you stupid? Go ashore. General Ward just loves to get that Admiral seat of Henry Morgan. <laughs> Alright, Quartermaster. We're going to sea. We're going over to Providence. Ooh, it's under siege right now. Let's go save it. Spanish. You need to get some time. Engage them. Alright. No more Mr. Nice Guy here. We're going round shot. Oh, this looks like it could end badly for us. We just gotta use strategy. Come on, guys. We can do this. Open fire. Yes, we hit him. Turn. Time to broadside his ass. Fire. We got him. Not enough, though. Fire. We're doing continuously big hits to him, but 
my goodness, it is not going to be enough. Fire! I think this is going to be the end of this, guys. We need to run this way. Probably shouldn't have engaged this guy, but I decided that I was going to save Providence. No Spanish were going to take it from the pirates. No way. Fire! We nicked him. Let's give him a broadside. Fire! Oh, barely hit him. Oh, sweet! He's on fire! Take that, dude! That may just be the difference between victory or defeat. Fire! Oh, he's losing health majorly now. And his crew is getting devastated. Fire! <laughs> this is awesome. Open fire! Man, he's dying quickly. Excellent. Fire! Fire! And this guy just keeps taking hits. It's gonna sink soon, man. Just need to give him a little bit more encouragement. Keep pouring on the fire, and the fire that's already on his ship will do the rest. Finish him! Come on! He's done for. Let's push him over the edge. Come on, come on, come on. He's down! Their heavy galleon sunk. Now they got a light galleon. Fire. Oh, we hit the light galleon. Let's turn and give him a broadside. Fire. Oh, he took a massive hit just then. Fire. And fire! Oh, that dude just took a mal a monster hit. Like he's lost half of his health, pretty much. Oh, we totally missed that broadside. Whoops. Okay, we're starting to run into a problem here where we're running literally into the edge of the map. Soon we'll have nowhere else to run, we'll just have to fight. Man, what the hell is with my accuracy? It's just gone. Oh, we hit him. Good, good, good. Let's turn our side around so that we can give him a good broadside. And fire. That's done it. One more solid broadside should be enough to finish that light galleon. Oh 
man. We're taking some serious hits here still too. It's not good facing overwhelming numbers like this ever. <laughs> Because they can always put more cannon balls down on you than you can them. And he's finished. We got one foe left. And he's a light galleon also. But he's already taken some damage from me. Which is great. Ooh. Big hit. <laughs> He's already lost 40 crew, which is good. His sails are pretty tattered. And his hull's been taking massive holes. He's losing a lot of integrity on his ship. Ooh, son, you're getting ripped apart. Let's come this way and pick up all the loot from the sinking light galleon. Salted fish. Tobacco. Bread. Oh man. He's wounding the hell out of my guys now fire. Take that. Let's uh, speed it up a bit and rush over to where we sunk the heavy galleon and pick up its supplies as well before they sink to the bottom of the ocean and we can't get them. The ship isn't very fast, as you can tell, but it's powerful, and that's why I like it. The problem at the moment is he can actually keep pace with me quite easily, being lighter class than me. But I can still shoot this punk. So, as long as he follows me, he's still going to be taking cannonballs. And I hope I make it in time to get this gear here. Looks still there. Or floating around. Alright, turn. Oh, he's shooting at me. We picked up spices, rum, bread, corned beef, ropes, silver. That was great. Alright, let's switch back to normal speed. And go after him. Since now we're going with the wind, we've got the advantage. It's turn to give him a broadside. Nice, nice. Turn the opposite way and give him our other broadside. Who? Oh, he gave us one. Fire! Whoa, he's really screwed now. His hull just... It totally collapsed. It's almost completely gone. We could finish it off with just these back cannons and the front ones combined. And the worst thing that could ever happen to him right now is if he um, set him on fire. Oh man, that would be the worst. <laughs> And you're done. No! Oh, I was going to say, no way, he's still up. But nah, he's sunk. We're good. Let's get over there and collect all the crap he's dropped.
normal speed it up again. Furniture, dyes, cocoa, corned beef, salt, jewelry. Man, that was an awesome pickup just now. And that's that. We won. We saved Providence from getting annihilated by the Spanish. There's still some ooh, land forces, which could be a problem. <laughs> But we could defend. Let's get my crew back to maximum strength. Sell all of that stuff we picked up just now. Get some of that money back from hiring the new crew. Man, furniture is worth a bit. Awesome. That's a good money. Um, do we have any weapons we've picked up? Yes, we do. Every little bit of money helps. Ooh. Tempered basket hilt broadsword. Yep, we're, we're switching. <laughs> Much longer sword, good. Now I can cut down anyone on horseback rather easily. It'll be a lot harder for me to miss. <laughs> Let's buy some more ammo. Check the crew out. Replenish them all, good. And any th missions? Nope. We're good here. Put C. Oh, we broke them. We stopped their invasion. They're like, screw that. Our naval support is gone. Alright, guys. So when we come back next time, um, hopefully I'll be able to use the music from the game itself instead of the music from No Copyright Sounds, which I love their music, but it's, it's always nice to have the original music that the game comes with, you know? But um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and my name is edogs 82 and I'm signing out. See you guys later. Easy decision. But on its own, here's what changed. Mm. Yes, sir.